cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. Well, hello guys. This is my contest entry for Jimmy Vong 23. Um, first I'd like to say I love your channel. You've got some really cool videos. Um, I, I honestly only found your channel because of the, uh, the contest and through uh, Perpetual Wanderer. I saw I'm subscribed to him, so I, so you know. Yeah, he's entering contest too, uh, so I decided, you know, I'd like to enter. So, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I, I have a big cut on my foot. I just poked it. So anyway, let's get to my, um, I guess I'll, t I'll start talking about what I've got in the tank. So right here, there's my fluorescent bulb that's overhanging the tank, flooding light into there. Um, let me kind of, there you go, that's better. Okay, so right there is an Exoterra. 305 submersible filter. It's a really little neat machine. Um, it's it's got some nice mechanics to it. Uh, if they really decided they wanted to do some work, that could be a really nice filter. I personally like internal filters for turtles. That's just me. Okay, so over there I've got I, I it's called a swamp bulb. It's basically a bulb specifically made for turtle basking. There's no UV output in it whatsoever, but it's splash proof, so it's not like the most most halogen bulbs where if it gets wet it cracks. Okay, so I've got a 50 watt turtle heater, so I can keep the water um, always at 75 degrees. It's never less. Um, right there is, if you can see it, right, 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 right there, yeah. That would be the um, the what you call ah the uh, thermometer. Okay, so um, the bedding in the tank is mostly just the normal rep bedding, but in some parts I've got the moss, and that's for, I have a red cheek mud turtle in here, and I like natural foraging for the sinking pellets that I feed them. Okay, so now let's go to my procedures. Now, I allow the water to evaporate almost halfway, and then I refill it up. Now, those are my natural procedures, that way the turtles are used to natural, the natural rain cycles. Um, so sometimes it's deep, today is deep, I just refilled it, and... I sometimes I you know and then it's sometimes it's sh shallower and I find that more natural for the turtles okay so right there is the red cheek mud turtle um, you can see him hopefully he'll grab that wrap him and fill up there you go yeah you got it mm -hmm. that's him right there the um, spotted turtle that I have in here should be hanging around somewhere Oh, uh, there he is, swimming around. Friendly little, great eater, good eater. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, my last attempt to make this video, I fed him, so he might not be hungry now. Oh, there he goes. So there's the red cheek here. I'll give him another one because he wasn't eating from me earlier. He was hiding. So, oh, there you go, there you go. Red cheek hungry. And the pink belly is hiding in the reeds. I have to feed him when he's hiding and feels comfortable, otherwise he gets kind of scared. So, here's my turtle tank. As you can see, the water is crystal clear. Um, it might look a little cloudy, but that's just because of the, um, the, this thing is black. So it kind of makes the water not look as clean as it should. Um, the tank is beautifully clean. Um, I have pH checks and stuff, and I do, it's like a pond kit. So, yeah. So, um, I do have this bulb as UV output, and if you look on my ceiling, that bulb, that white, big white light, that also has UV output. So, I've got UV output for my Dranesian Pond Turtle tank up there, and it also goes to these guys. On the other side, I just have some awesome red party bulbs. So, yeah, um, I've got two fake plants in here for them. They like to hide in them. Th these ones specifically they like to hide in, because it's good. They can get under the leaves and stick their heads out. Um, I have. Um, I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go over the turtles I have in here. I have one red cheek mud turtle, one pink belly side neck, and one spotted turtle. I used to have a cooter in here, but I moved him downstairs with my sub adults. So there he is, trying to catch some reptilian. Don't think he will, but maybe if I do that. There you go. There you go. You can get it. Go get the pilly. There you go. Mmm, tasty. So, I feed them a mix of everything. Um, oh, I didn't go over the food yet. Oh, this is going to be so long. Um, so, this is the food that I feed them. 
In here I have a koi wheat germ pellet, um, repta sticks. Yeah, repta sticks. Um, I've got Hikari floating turtle food, Hikari sinking pellets, and Zumet growth formulated pellets. So they have a really uh, so I feed my turtles a good variety of food. Um, the basking area, it's on the bedding is um, forest bark and keeper's choice, but what they actually bask on is pieces of cork that I put in there above it. They don't actually bask on the um, the seeds, and there's a big array of different basking areas for them. So all that surface area is cork. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, thanks. I yeah. Okay. So this is kind of the part of the video where I explain why slash why I want slash to the turtle. So once again, I explained in the other part that I I do miss the cooter. I still own him. He's mine. But I miss the fact, you know, that having that good swimming, you know, that that turtle's always there when you go up to the side of the tank. Um, I, I miss that. I would like that. Um, I'm not, you know, rich. I don't have a bajillion dollars to spend on them, but I do the best that I can, and I keep them more naturally. Uh, I'm not a big fan of glass, glass aquariums. Sadly, I do. I do have them. I like the turtle tubs. Um, these guys, when they're adults, will be going in a an outdoor pond. I'm going to Florida, and that's where they're going to be. Um, they're all friendly turtles, none aggressive. No aggressive behavior between them. Uh, it's beautifully depthed, and once again, how I explained that I have the water that gets deeper, and then it gets it shallows out. That you know, mimics natural cycles of water drying out, and then when it rains, the tank fills back up. Um, I don't have the system on there right now, but it's actually, you, you run a pipe, a little pipe down it, and it's kind of like, I turn it on, and then it fills up, and then I've got a sensor there, and then I take it off, because I don't have room to, per, you know, keep it in my room forever. So it makes the tank beautifully leveled, um, but... I really always wanted a common map. Uh, I think they're really cool turtles. Um, you know, I would take care of them just like I take care of mine. Um, I do have many different types of pellets um, for them to make sure that they, you know, have a variety in their diet. Um, they do occasionally get lettuce, um, and I, I really I just want them because I think that he's really cool. Um, I do take very, very good care of my turtles. I I make it a point to get up in the morning and feed them and clean out their filter and I have specific protocols for all the different stuff in the tanks. That way the turtles don't get too used to humans but they're not, you know, too, uh, that they're not afraid of me either because I don't want them, uh, eventually I'm going to just try to breed all these baby turtles in here. So, um, I probably do take very good time on probably. I take, I definitely take very good care of my turtles. Um, you know, my turtles are all happy and healthy. Um, no, nothing, I've never ever had a problem with any of my turtles. I, I really like turtles and, you know, there you, there you go. So, see you guys. Um, I really want them. So, hope I won. Nice channel. Uh, thank you. Caramel pink albino is really cool.